battle. The battle is actually in your head. You're not gonna hear noises, you're not gonna hear gunfire, you're not gonna hear any explosions. It's not that kind of battle. What's in your head is weakness and laziness, and they're not attacking, they're sneaking around. They're poisoning the strength in your brain. You are putting things off because in the short term, it's easier, it's more comfortable, it's more pleasurable to be distracted or to indulge yourself doing something else than it is to sit down and do the actual work to create the outputs that matter when they are needed. And I know what it's like to tell yourself, I'm gonna start on Monday. And then for the next five days, you gorge yourself or you're extra lazy or you treat yourself extra much because you know you're gonna do it this time. And this time I'm serious and this time I'm for real and I'm gonna get it done. Except you're not and you know you're not. And if you really want it to change and if you really wanna make a change and you really wanna be different and you really want it to be this time, start fucking now. I don't care if it's nine o'clock at night. Do something productive towards what it is you're trying to become. Because I can tell you right now for sure that the people who tell themselves, I'm going to start Monday, never can start Monday. All you have to do to kill procrastination is just start. You just go and procrastination dies. So don't wonder how you overcome procrastination. It's easy. All you do to overcome procrastination is go. Stop waiting for something to move you and move yourself. Every day, move yourself. In the morning, move yourself. In the afternoon, move yourself. At night, move yourself. Be very intentional and very deliberate about moving yourself. You control your feelings. Don't nobody else control your feelings. So when you tell me I ain't feeling it no more, it don't got nothing to do with something external. It's something internal that you ain't pushing no more. You push you. You got to move you. Every single day, if you get to a point in your day and you down and out, if you get to a point in your day and you exhausted, you get to a point in your day and you're not feeling it, you can stop right there and change the mood. Nothing controls you. You control your feelings. You control your mood. Don't nobody control your mood. You saw something that threw you off, well, see something that throw you back on. The only way to get out of the mental trap is to stop thinking and actually start doing it. Because all the research shows that if we can push you to get started on something, you'll likely keep going. It's a matter of not making a decision. Little things you're putting on, do it. And do it right now. I know you've got other things. Do it. When you make a decision to do something, you flip your brain onto the frequency that you have to be on to do it. You don't have to know how to do it. You only have to know you're going to do it. I want you to literally just commit that you wake up and every single damn day, you push yourself to take one small action forward. Every day for a fucking week. That's it. Don't think about the bigness of it. Actually start doing it. There's always going to be a reason to wait. There's always going to be something that is inconvenient for you to work through. There's always going to be a busy schedule. It's always going to be that way. You have to f***ing work through it. There's always going to be a reason for you to do what it takes now if you want it bad enough. But a lot of you motherfuckers just don't want it. And unless you're committed 100%, you just aren't going to make it. The processes of success are always inconvenient in the beginning. They don't stay that way. If you stick with it, if you give it time, if you work through the inconveniences, they become habit. They are done with passive effort, passive thought. It's just something automatic. And if you can create automatic actions that are positive in your life, you're going to create automatic winning. If you've ever had a moment in your life that you have measured yourself and come up short, if you've ever poured yourself into an individual, a company, a place or thing, and didn't get the results you expected, then this one is for you. It's hard. It's hard changing your life. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself. It takes a lot of guts to get up. You don't have nothing but lint in the corner of your pocket. You're out here talking about living your dream. And people laughing at you. And they're doubting you. It takes guts, ladies and gentlemen. No guts, no glory. But let me tell you, I believe in revenge like Frank Sinatra. He said the best revenge is massive success. You have to remind yourself of how badass you really are. You take one second when your mind and your body are saying we're done. 
we need to quit. You gotta remind yourself, hang on a second, I've overcome a hell of a lot more than this. And I have the strength to persevere, to move on, to not settle for what's in front of me. It was gonna be a dog fight. I would love to tell you that on the road to success, everything is gonna work out. It's not. It's a dog fight. It's hard, but I've made up in my mind that I will get a reward for the pain that I go through. I will not stop in the middle of the process. I will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will take everything that happens in my life and I will allow the pain to push me to greatness. You will not break me. You will not stop me. The only way I lose is if I quit. And you can't defeat me. If you want to be a diamond, you must go through extreme pressure. If you can't take pressure, then you're not a diamond. If you're ready to quit, then don't get started. If you're looking for this easy path, don't get started. If you think they're not going to close the door on you and say no a million times, don't get started. But every time they close the door, I just get excited. Why? Because I am not a no. I'm one yes away. You can't keep telling me no forever. You can't keep denying me forever. You can't stop it. I'm not trying to veer to the left or veer to the right or gradually get it together. I'm getting ready to do something so radical and so massive. I'm going to turn the whole thing 180 degrees. You got just enough strength left. You got just enough time left. You got just enough energy left to make one big turn. So when people ask and say, how you doing? Even if you're having some difficult times, say, I'm blessed and highly favored. Because any time you wake up and you don't have a white chalk outline around your body, it's a great day. And so I say to you, it's possible you can live your dream if it's becoming a diamond, if it's having more, it's achieving more. It's possible you can live your dream. It's necessary that you have a plan of action, that you're resilient, that you stick to, that you have the vision and never give it up, that you become creative and relentless and keep on coming back again and again and again, and that it's you that you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. And when life knocks you down, jump back up and say, it's not over until I win. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how far-fetched it might appear to be. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know. That that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. In the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. Most people think they're disqualified from becoming mega successful. They think their past disqualifies them. Their mistakes, their seven. You don't know, man, I've had a divorce. You don't know I failed in this other business. You don't know in the last down real estate market, I lost it all. You don't know what I'm addicted to. You don't know my mistakes. You don't know my weaknesses. You don't know what I'm not good at. You don't know. I've always been average and ordinary. I've always been invisible. And so that disqualifies me from being successful. So what you do regularly is you disqualify yourself. And what I'm saying to you, what if the truth was that your greatest mistakes are the very things that do qualify you? What if that's the case? What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you're greater than your circumstances, that you don't have to go through life being a victim. If you can survive temporary pain, on the other side of temporary pain, you will meet another version of you. Which, by the way, all pain is temporary. The only thing permanent is our soul. Even our bodies are temporary. So all pain, no matter what it is, it is temporary. And if you can survive it, on the other side of it, you will meet personality traits, emotions, thoughts, people, circumstances, versions of you that you didn't know existed before. If you want to make your dream become reality, the people that are running at their dreams know that it's possible that you can live your dream. That it's necessary, that you're relentless, that you have a plan of action, that you are creative. That know if it's going to happen, it's up to them. And they're resolving within themselves, it's not over until I win. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it.